All right, YouTube. We have, uh, I'm out here in the truck, in the beast, and I'm going to uh, get the CB radio installed. Sorry about the bad angle here, but we're gonna start the Pro 520 XL CB radio. So um, I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna kind of figure it out. Got the beer, radio. That's where it's gonna go in that little hole right here. That's where I'm gonna try to get it in. And we'll just see what happens. Um, yeah, uh, there's some custom installs already. As you can see, I put this little battery monitor in my truck. Um, and it's wired under here to the uh, socket, or um, the, uh, what is that called? Fuse outlet box in there. Um, but yeah, let's get it started. So okay, first we're gonna take this clip off here. I'm just gonna pop this out and see if it gives me access to this because I, I wanna get the radio. It's not deep enough to hold the radio, so if I was to put the radio, uh, where is it? If I was to take the CB, has cores in the back, uh, and just stick it in there. It's not deep at all. I don't think that's a good look. Not a good look at all. So I wanna get deeper back into this. Uh, I'm not sure what's behind this stop that's preventing the radio or the CB from going back far. So I'm just I'm gonna pop this off and see if I can take a look, I think. I think these just pop out. Yeah. Well actually, I think I have to, I wonder if this underneath comes out. All right, hold on, let me see if I can get that out first. All right, YouTube, we are back. I have this installed now, as you can see. Uh, I just drilled a couple of brackets in here. Uh, excuse me, drilled a bracket in here. There's a couple of screws into this bracket. Uh, if you guys can see that. And it's right in this 2011 F-150, right under the sink display in this little pocket here. If you have an F-150, you know what I mean. And just these little screws here, they're both sides, if you can see that. Just tightens up. Um, to get the display. I'm gonna have to pull this back out though because I have to wire it up. Just wanna see if it fits. So I've ordered this from Amazon as well. It's gonna be a little uh, cigarette lighter accessory. I'm gonna hook this up. That'll give me my power right in here. And then we have, all the way in the back. Got my SWR meter. We have uh, the antenna that's gonna go up, uh, you know, on top of the roof. It's just a magnetic magnetic antenna. If you guys can see that. All right, um, SWR meter here. Ordered this off Amazon. I think it's about twenty one dollars. And this is just a. Uh, I did get another antenna. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put that on or not, but it, it, it's a larger antenna, larger than this one, longer than this one, taller than this one. So we'll see if I uh, install that as well before I uh, see how the range is on this one first. Um, but for now, we're gonna just get this solder, or excuse me, uh, locked in together, uh, red to red, black to black, and get the power first. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, antenna on next. I'm gonna have to take this out again, I'm gonna take this out and get everything, uh, um, I guess, together put together and then put it back in here see how it looks all right uh sorry i won't be able to show you guys what i'm doing but that's just how uh it is right now with my current display um got the beer and we're ready to go all right youtube we have the beast in the garage next to the pony uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue with this uh, CB radio installation. But this is what I have. I have a temporary um, antenna that's gonna go on top of here. And I'm running it down the side here. And you just kind of slap it in to clean this up. And it's gonna go inside the truck. This should be all you, all you see once I you know, get everything fixed in here. Um, and this is coming inside the truck. 
Uh, like I said, it's just a temporary antenna. I just want to see if the CB, CB radio works, how it works, if I really like it or not. Uh, eventually, I'll get a permanent uh, antenna that I'm going to install in a bolt here or maybe bolt it in here and have it have a hood mount that kind of pops the antenna out so I can shut the hood. Uh, but anyway, going back to the so I have the wire coming in through here. If you guys can see that, it's a little wire coming in through this little side panel here. Um, that's nasty. I have to fix this stuff up, clean it up later. But um, and we're gonna run it. I know you can't probably see, but we're gonna run it under the carpet here and into the radio here. Ugh, get some light in here. Sorry. So I'm gonna just have this little. That's the the wire from the antenna. And we're going to bolt it into the back of this little panel here. I'm going to drill a hole right there and install the TV radio into that. Uh, let's bring the antenna through that hole where the bracket will be, which is where the CB radio, radio will be. So it's kind of a, it's an okay install. I'm not too proud of it, but I'm um, also kind of proud of it because I've never done this type of stuff before. So we'll see how it works and uh, get this thing all drilled up. I got my drill ready to go, so we're gonna go from here. All right, don't laugh guys, but this is the drill that I'm gonna use. I have this weird funky bit. This may, I don't know, it's just gonna be a little small hole. I'm gonna make sure I don't get too far in the back there to just drill a little, uh, what size is this? A uh, 3 fourths of an inch hole. Um, so we'll see how this turns out. All right, let me put this down while I get this thing going here. All right, as y'all can, let's get a light in here. You can see I did a little start there. Uh, I didn't want to press too hard because there are a, you know, a few wires behind the um, that panel. So I got my Dremel, uh, got my Dremel here, just a little handheld Dremel light. I'm just going to see if this can do the job. Just kind of get in there and keep rounding it out. Let's see what happens. I may be able to film a little bit. Okay, I can't even see what I'm doing, so I gotta put this down. All right, hold on. All right, all right, Juju, finished a little bit of the Dremel. As you can see, made that a little bit bigger in there. That's kind of, that's exactly what I wanted, really. Uh, and if you get really close, you can see there's a wire back there, so I wanna make sure I stop before I hit that. And, uh, Let's see if they even fits. Let's get in there. All right, YouTube, we got that sucker in. So I'm just gonna pull that through, uh, vacuum out all of this dust right here, and keep going. All right, YouTube, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the light on here. Just pull this all the way through. Um, did a little bit of cleaning up, gotta do a little bit more. Pull this through. Gonna hook it to the back of the CB radio right here where the antenna is supposed to be and hook up the power and install it back in these brackets here, back in place, and keep going. So let's pull this in. I'll have to put the camera down for this, so uh, be patient. Whew. All right, YouTube, we have got this sucker in place. Took a while, screwed it in. Now I just gotta run the power. All right, YouTube, we are going to uh, get this on top of the thing here. Screw this in. I can see. Got it screwed in, and we're gonna go test this sucker out on the road, see if we get a signal. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, how does it look? Does it look kind of weird? Yeah, it does. Absolutely weird, but we're gonna try it out anyway. I hope it doesn't fall off the truck. All right, we're gonna put this power in. All right, put it right into our cigarette lighter. And we should be good to go. Let's go test. Actually, I guess I can close the door here. And I uh, have to clean that up, but all right, let's try it out. That's it. Right, let's try it out. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, we gotta get the uh, 
Gotta get this plugged in here. There we go. We should have power once I turn this knob. Put this on mute. Okay, I guess it's not gonna play anything. It is silent. Nobody's on. Nobody's talking. Let's drive around, see if I hear anything. I don't have to keep this. Close the garage. Get the seatbelt on. A lot of rain today. I can't get anything on my channel here. Oh well. All right, YouTube, this is the final setup. Let's see, I added a mount, the base, a new uh, antenna mount right here. Instead of, originally I was gonna have it right here, but I have it right here. This was a cleaner setup I found on Amazon. I'll have the links to that in the description below. And ran that in here. So y'all can see, I just put it through the hole here. So cleaned up the setup there. Clean underneath. I did clean up this red wire a little bit. It's under here now, but looking at it from the top, you can't really see it. Just has this one wire here sticking out. Um, as you see, we have signal. Um, so yeah, that's to complete the setup here, so you can get a good look. I still haven't mounted this, uh, my hand piece. I need to mount that, haven't done that yet, but I'm getting the signal. I have it in here, it's fully installed, as you guys can see. So getting into my truck, pretty cool. That's the antenna there, about a two foot antenna right now. Probably have to increase that to three. To switch it out so yeah that's the uh cb radio 2011 f-150 i did it all right i think it's a good it's a good look um i don't like the wires right there but i mean they don't hurt anything Right here, you can see totally cleaned up. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you like the video. Uh, my first installation, see if you're oh, actually my second installation because I had a gauge I installed for the battery, but um, that's it for my CB radio. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know, comment, like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you later.